Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. Today we're going to talk about insert isopar. This is a NURBS command. So before we get started, let's create a NURBS surface. Let's go to the create menu, NURBS primitives, and I'll just use a sphere. I'll go to my sphere creation options here and reset tool, and then I'll just make a sphere here. Like so. So this is a NURBS sphere. If you're not familiar with what an isoparm actually is, it is a component of a NURBS surface. Uh, and I do have a video going over uh, NURBS components. Feel free to click over here to the left and it'll go over all the components of a NURBS surface. But really quickly, an isoparm is simply these lines. Essentially what an isoparm is, is a curve on the surface. So these lines that you see on this NURBS sphere are all isoparms. If you need more isoparms to uh, edit your surface, you can insert them. And the reason why you might need more is if I right click on my sphere and choose hull, hulls are like the controls for isoparms for editing them. If I select this hull, I can then move it around and you're moving this entire isoparm in, on the sphere. Just selecting the isoparm itself and trying to move it doesn't work. You have to use a hull or you can use control vertices. The control vertex are the individual points and a hull is a string of points which makes up the isoparms. Using the arrow keys you can go back and forth between the, the holes on the surface and then you can edit them however you want to shape your surface. So if you want more granular detail in this sphere you would need more holes, which means you would need more isoparms. Because each isoparm has a hole associated with it. So just right click on my sphere and choose isoparm as my component selection. And choose an isoparm like this. And then I can click and drag and kind of highlight an indicated curve on the surface. And I'm going to insert an isoparm here. So we'll go to edit NURBS insert isoparms. I'm going to go into the options, just edit, reset, make sure everything's at the default values, and click the insert button, and a new isoparm is added. You can right click and choose a vertical isoparm, and you can insert an isoparm in the same manner, just by highlighting an area, edit nerves, insert isoparm. So then when I right click and choose holes, I have new holes where these new isoparms have been added. So let's make a new sphere. Let's delete this. Create a new NURBS sphere that's not been edited. It's nice and fresh. And we'll look at our insert isoparm options. Edit NURBS, insert isoparms options. Again, we'll edit reset, make sure we have our default values. So the first option here for insert isoparms is the insert location and by default you're choosing at selection which is why when I right click on my nerve sphere and choose isoparm as my component selection and then highlight an actual curve on the surface this is my selection so whenever we insert the isoparm it's inserted at this highlighted selection but the other option is between selections so if I choose this I actually need to highlight at least two isoparms. So I'm just going to click these two, hold down shift and click this one. So I've highlighted both of these isoparms and insert location is between selection, hit apply, and I've inserted this isoparm between those two that I had highlighted. If I undo that and I just kind of click and drag to here, hold shift, click and drag here, hold shift, click and drag here, and hit apply, it inserts between each of those selections. It also added isoparms where I had highlighted so that it could have isoparms to insert in between. <laughs> See, it's a really easy way to add a whole lot of isoparms at once. So you can definitely add multiple isoparms by holding shift and highlighting multiple regions, multiple curves, and you either at selection or between, hit apply, you can insert new isoparms all at once. So you'll notice with at selection highlighted, Use all surface isoparms is not an option, it's grayed out. Multiplicity, and then there's multiplicity slider here. 
If I choose between selections, use all surface selection forms is available, multiplicity is grayed out, and the multiplicity slider changes to number of isoparms to insert. So if I choose two isoparms like we did before for insert between, and I can increase this slider to, in to insert multiple isoparms rather than just the one single one as it is by default. So hit apply, insert three all at one time. So use all surface isoparms U and V. What this where this comes into play is when you are ins inserting isoparms into the entire object. So if I deselect component mode and strictly object mode just selecting the entire nerve sphere I can choose use all surface isoparms U or V and the, again the U direction is the surface direction going around the sphere while the V direction is a vertical direction from pole to pole. If I choose U and hit apply you see it inserts an isoparm between each isoparm going around the sphere and I actually inserted three in between each one because my number of isoparms to insert is still set to three. If I undo that and choose one, it does just it just does one in between each isoparm in the U direction. Undo that and choose V instead, hit apply, it inserts them in the vertical direction or the V direction. And again you can increase multiple ones like so. Undo that, change this back to one. So with between selections it's pretty easy, you just kind of selecting at least two curves on a surface and inserting however many isoparms between the selection or by selecting the entire object you can use the use all surface isoparms to insert one between each isoparm that is that exists already let's go back to at selection and look at our multiplicity here we have two multiplicity options before we have our multiplicity slider we have set to and increase by and by default it is set to increase by so we're increasing at the selection the isoparms by one we can also increase by two so you can insert two isoparms at one location and let me show you what happens there let me, let me highlight the holes first so you make sure you see the difference so we have these two holes where these two isoparms are that I'm highlighting right here. If I go back to isoparm selection and let's just choose a location between these two, insert at location, increase by two isoparms, and hit apply. You'll still see one line, but essentially there's two lines on top of each other. And NURBS works a little bit differently where it's you don't actually, like in polygons, if you were to add two edges on top of each other, you could move them and separate them apart. And isoparm and, and NURBS is not quite the same. If I right click and choose hole, you can see I have two new holes, but even though only one line is being displayed. If I choose this hole and I can scale it like this, or this hole and scale it like this, you can see the, the edges, unlike polygons, this isoparm is not splitting into two, even though I inserted two on top of each other. It's just kind of like a like sharpening that uh, isoparm. In order to get uh, nerves to display kind of a hard surface you have to insert multiple isoparms where you want sharp edges to be otherwise it will still remain pretty smooth like this is. If I undo all of that. So at this line if I were to insert this and multiply it by say 10. 7 seems to be the maximum number that lets me use. So you can go up by 7 and hit apply you still see one line, you still see three holes, but hopefully you can see that the sharpness is much, much sharper than it was. I kind of adjust these holes a bit. So my surface can display a much sharper result using a multiplicity of a high value. So the higher the multiplicity, the sharper the result can be at that location where you've inserted the isoparm. And then we have multiplicity as set to. So there's increase by where you're increasing the location by the multiplicity value, the multiplicity slider value. 
then they're set to. So the increase by multiplicity value will increase the existing location that we highlight by the number in the multiplicity slider. So even if there is an isoparm existing there already, we'll increase it by two in this case. Or we can say set to two. Or it will, it will add two isoparms regardless of how many isoparms are already there. It'll set it to two. But by default, edit reset, I usually just use increase by and increase the multiplicity value by however many I need. So after that there's keep original and this is a pretty standard option in Maya where if you check this it will insert the isoparm but it will duplicate your object first and insert the new isoparm into the new object leaving the the old object in case you want to keep the original as it is. Let me just create a new sphere. And another thing about keep original if you want to use the show manipulator tool you have to have keep original on if you don't then the show manipulator tool will not work so we're going to use keep original and we're going to right click and choose isoparm and choose an isoparm right here and hit apply so it duplicates my sphere and inserts an isoparm there and the original sphere is still here intact so I'm going to hide the original sphere by hitting Control H. So now I have my new sphere with the new isoparm added. In the channel box I can choose the insert not surface channel over here just like before. And then over here on the left I can choose the show manipulator tool. And I get this handy little handle here. I can click and drag this isoparm anywhere on the surface to change its position. So where before you were having to like type in numbers, with the show manipulator tool you can just click and drag it where you want it to go. But again, the show manipulator tool will not work unless you use keep original. And undo all that. So that was with using uh, insert at location. Let's say we want to insert between selections. I can choose two isoparms. Hold shift. Keep original is checked. Insert. And now you see with my show manipulator tool turned on, I have two handles now. By moving these two handles, it moves the isoparm that has been inserted between the two. Like so. Let's go back. Now let's insert that location again. Let's do multiple isoparms. Let's hold down Shift and select these three. Edit nerves. Insert isoparms at selection and hit apply. So now I have multiple handles all visible at once. I can click and drag and move these isoparms wherever we want them to go. And again this only works when you have keep original checked. So yeah I think that pretty much covers the insert isoparm command. I hope you enjoyed the video. If I uh, missed anything let me know and I'll be sure to add to this video and make sure that I get all the information to you guys. Uh, feel free to comment uh, if you have any suggestions for future topics or future tools you'd like me to go over please feel free to let me know. I'm, I definitely prioritize requests over you know my own ideas. So yeah thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you later.